Hallelujah. And all God's people said, Amen, Pastor. That's right, Amen, Sister Ruth. And I'd like to begin today's sermon off by welcoming back and for the first time in three weeks with the proper suffix in front of his name, Father God, Deacon Ricky, welcome back to the congregation. As y'all know, Deacon Ricky was on probation from the deaconry for uh, for what was it? I can't even remember now. I believe he uh, put the fix in on the cakewalk, taking, uh, taking side bets. Might have even siphoned a little bit out of that rum cake. We can't all know. But Deacon Ricky is back with us, having served his time, Father God, and we're happy to have him here. I do understand that while his penance has been served in Pastor Petey's place for parishioners both pompous and proletariat alike, Mr. Mark Zuckerberg uh, still finds him in contempt, and he is in what we call Facebook jail uh, for a post he made on the social media site uh, not one week ago. We'd all like to remind Deacon Ricky that those pictures of Taylor Swift were artificial intelligence. They were doctored, Deacon Ricky. And even if they weren't, you can't post a nipple on Facebook, Father God. The children are seeing it. Deacon Ricky, your granddaughter's there. Woo! I ain't gonna lie. I liked what I saw, though. Generational talent, Father God. We hope you enjoyed the Super Bowl and perhaps enjoyed a break uh, from... Pastor Petey and Deacon Ricky, Brother Corey Ryan Forrester uh, was not able to uh, upload the files of my teachings last week as he had a, a, a family crisis, uh, Father God, and we do pray that, that uh, all is well in uh, his neighborhood as it were. For he is the daddy warbucks around these parts and the paterfamilias as it were, Father God. Uh, well, speaking of Brother Corey Ryan Forrester, one announcement he wanted uh, to make uh, was that next Wednesday, uh, that is, I suppose actually this Wednesday, uh, February 21st at watchpoa.com. If you are a fan of putting on airs the podcast betwixt him and Brother Trey Crowder, they will be live streaming their 100th episode at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at watchpoa.com. That is their YouTube, Father God, or you can watch it broadcasted uh, on all of Brother Trey Crowder's socials. Uh, once again, that is this Wednesday, February 21st, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, Father God. Putting on ass will be live streaming their 100th episode and airheads, that is uh, what I, I believe is what they call their fans, uh, will be able to ask questions during the show. It will be very interactive. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe to watchpoa.com so you can check out the live stream. But it will be available uh, on Friday like a regular podcast episode. If you're not able to make it, Father God, all right, enough supporting that weasel. Announcements from the church, Father God. Our, of course, y'all have heard the scandal we've had with our uh, middle school girls softball team, Father God. One of the other churches uh, who, let's face it, uh, they ain't as enlightened as Pastor Petey's place. Uh, uh, we'll just say, I don't know if they're Southern Baptists or not, but they sure are acting like it, Father God. They was trying to have us disqualified uh, on the grounds uh, uh, that our catcher, Little Miss Mackenzie Wardthrop, Little Miss Mackenzie Wardthrop, they were saying ain't no way she a little girl, and we must have had a high school boy uh, uh, dressed up in a wig catching balls and they was gonna have a, a, a DNA test Father God but they have since dismissed all the charges when little Miss Mackenzie Wardthrop's grandmama Big Bad Betty Perkins went down there and whipped they pastor's ass Father God after they peeled him up from the floor of the vestibule he said whoo Father God she must come by it honestly that's right we love our little Mackenzie down here five foot tall and five foot wide and hits the softball like a piece of rawhide, Father God. We're going to state. Uh, Pastor Petey wants to discourage everyone uh, in attendance today. I heard some talk after Sunday school of a couple of y'all saying you's going to uh, get together and uh, form a caravan and drive up north to, and I'm just quoting what I heard, 
uh, whooped that groundhog's ass on account of it was 28 degrees this morning and you felt like you'd been lied to, I'm gonna advise against that. Uh, Puxatawney Phil happens to be a national treasure of this country. We know going into this, he's only right 36% of the time. And also, mind you, it has been a different groundhog uh, every couple years. They don't live 100. Uh, Father God is just a cold snap. And it is February, mind you. This happens every year, yet you act confused. Couple, couple prayer requests. Uh, Mary, Mary Ellen uh, writes in, uh, Father God, pray for my husband. He says if it's cold one more day, he's getting in his car and going to whoop that groundhog's ass. All right, now see, this is what we're talking about here. We can't have none of this business. Use your brain, folks. Woo, Father God has all since been thrown out the window. Miss Betty Sue writes in, Pastor Petey, I don't know what to do. Help me. Father God, help me. My husband hates Joe Biden and, and the Kansas City, City Chiefs and Travis Kelsey and, and Taylor Swift so much father god that he made a spike bet on the super bowl and bet all bet everything we had father god on the san francisco 49ers and we lost it all house and home savings and everything father god what do i do well miss betty sue it's simple find yourself another husband Woo, father god last i checked you got titties and he ain't you'll be fine can i get an amen amen pastor that's right and if you're the Betty Sue I'm thinking of right now, you'll have you another one for the ink dries, Father God. Go, Chiefs. Now let's bow our head. Father God, we do come to you today. As much as we try to ignore it, Father God, we're in tumultuous times in this country. America, that is, if you happen to be one of Pastor Petey's listeners from elsewhere on this spinning rock we live on, trying not to fall off, Father God, holding on, white-knuckling it. Life often feels like a right hook from big, bad Betty Perkins, Father God, and we are just the unprotected nutsack flapping in the wind in her sights, Father God. We often reach out to you, Father God, not knowing what to do, hoping that you can reach down and somehow press a button like in them old Office Depot commercials, Father God. Woo! Easy button. It was red, Father God. Or for those more nerdy in the congregation, perhaps a Me Seeks box from Rick and Morty, Father God. Woo! New season without Justin Rollins, just as good, Father God. They didn't need him. Glad he's gone. Some of y'all need context. I don't have time to get into it. Use Google, Father God. Truth be told, Father God, I don't know if there is anything you can do. I don't know if there is anything any of us can do, Father God, except the aforementioned white-knuckling and holding on, waiting to get punched in the nutsack. Perhaps all we can do is be ready with a bag of ice, Father God, some frozen peas, a hardened and cold ribeye, like in the Tom and Jerry cartoons, Father God, to alleviate the swelling once it's all said and done, Father God. Because in the grand scheme of things, we all feel so small, we all feel so inadequate, Father God. You look at us from space, we are just little teeny tiny dots. You know, they say, Father God, that if you looked at the entire existence of, of the, the earth, Father God, all the billions of years, and you broke it down into a 24-hour clock, Father God, something like human beings didn't even show up till 11, 59, and 58 seconds or something like that, Father God. Yet we think we own it all, Father God. We think it's all because of us. Whoo, Father God. I suppose, I suppose I pray and we pray that you can help us. If you are even out there, Father God, God, Father good also, Father good God, God good. If there is a God, maybe good, perhaps not. Uh seeing as I'll be honest with you Father God uh, if you're responsible for the mountains and the streams and the creeks and Dolly Parton and my baby good on you gotta give it up to you there Father God but there's a whole lot of other stuff I gotta say not a fan of your earlier work Father God Woo! you sort of like the opposite of some bands I'm a fan of Father God some of your current work sucks too Father God some of that stuff you did in the middle ain't that good neither. 
Matter of fact, there's sometimes, Father God, I think that you do better just writing for other people, Father God. Sort of how I felt about David Crosby, if I'm not going to lie, Father God. I always liked his words coming out of somebody else's mouth. Not to speak ill of the dead. Though if I'm being honest, he could be a little bit of a prick, Father God. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but he did show his true colors on Twitter there towards the end of his life. Father God, maybe he was just going through it. Perhaps he wishes he had have adopted Drew Barrymore after all, Father God. I don't know. Anyways, Father God, I believe that I've lost all hope in praying for there to be some sort of good outcome to 2024. Father God, I think we might be beyond that. I believe it's pretty laughable at this point, Father God. Yeah, let me let me see if I can muster up a fake laugh here. <laughs> Oh, Father God, you've really put us in a bind here. Guess my only hope and my prayer, Father God, is I pray that you can help us once it's all over. Step back from the cloud of destruction and see finally once and for all what it is we have wrought upon ourselves. See the seeds that we have sown. And understand that now we must reap them. And perhaps instead of saying, oh well, all is lost, we look at it and instead say, oh hell no, I dare not, Father God, let my child stand where I have stood. Where I stood in dark, they shall stand in light, Father God. Where I trotted in despair, they shall glide on hope, Father God. In other words, Father God, may we not fart downwind. As my grandpappy Perkins used to say, Father God. And all God's people said, we are using a different recording device this week, so some of Hey everybody, if you enjoyed Pastor Petey, and I hope you did, uh, consider subscribing to my Substack. That's at bonuscory.com. I do those every Sunday unless I'm ill, which this winter, that's happened a couple times. But that's a character I do. I really have a good time. You can listen to the full sermon at bonuscory.com. I put them out for free. Um, the paid subscribers get them early and if you're a paid subscriber it really uh, helps me and my family out because I'm not touring as much right now so that's a great way to support me and to support all of my work but if you just want to hang out over there for free that's totally cool uh, but if you get value from the things that I do and you want to throw something in the offering plate as it were bonuscory.com is a great way to support me with five dollars a month or you can pay for the whole year and you get two months for free bonuscory.com for more from pastor Petey, several other characters i do essays full length uh audio dramas and a whole lot more thanks so much and thanks for subscribing to me on youtube as well uh or instagram wherever you're seeing this thank you love you uh,